today I wanted to talk a little bit about part of my transformation story and um, when I say part what I mean is that you know with my story I've had exercise or fitness counterbalanced with a healthy dose of nutrition and you know really watching what I eat and so today you know a lot of times we focus on the programs and you know oh, I did P90X and I did this many rounds and I lost this many pounds um, and the nutrition side, which is just as important, gets kind of left in the background. And so I wanted to focus just for a few minutes today on nutrition. Now, my journey began back in 2011, and I had been on a roller coaster of weight loss fads and quick fixes for literally years. Um, and I had spent years of my life and tons of um, energy trying to find the quickest way to get you know to where I wanted to be and it ended up taking me eight years now that's not very quick right so all my searching for a shortcut really took much longer than it took you know than it actually took when I finally started doing it the right way and when I did finally start doing it the right way it took me about six months so six months to eight years yeah it's just doesn't really add up so my first um, little kind of side note is stop looking for a shortcut Stop wasting your time looking for a shortcut that does not exist, okay? It doesn't. Yes, if you go on an Atkins diet or a, a low carb or South Beach or you go vegetarian or you do diet pills, you will lose weight. You will, okay? These programs don't make money and don't have a huge following because they don't work. They work. But are they sustainable? That's the question you need to ask yourself. Do I want to spend a lot of time and agony I mean <laughs> giving up you know all these foods that you enjoy in order to lose weight but just gain it right back as soon as you fall off the wagon and falling off the wagon is part and parcel of doing a fad okay so that was just a side note um, <clears throat> stop looking for a shortcut okay so what I wanted to focus on today though is part of my story that um, might seem a little TMI so if you aren't down with that, you can just turn off the video right now. Um, and I'm going to go back to when I was 18 years old. I went on a mission trip to Mexico. And I was there for six months. And I loved it. I had a great time. And I enjoyed the food. And the best food in Mexico happens to be on taco trucks. So I ate off a lot of taco trucks. Um, taco trucks don't happen to be the most cleanly place. To eat and so I ended up contracting an infection an intestinal infection this took me literally two years to finally get over okay and the resulting effect of it was that my stomach lining got jacked up and I developed irritable bowel syndrome now some of you I'm sure have heard this term um, most people refer to it as IBS um, what is irritable bowel? It sounds just basically like it, it is what it sounds. It's a really nasty um, illness that affects your, your digestive system. And basically you can't hold food. You don't digest food properly. So you eat something and it goes right through you. Okay. Now this is where I said it's TMI because it really is. And I apologize. But this is so important to my story and part of the reason why I'm so passionate, so, so passionate about what I do is because of what I have experienced in my own body, okay? So, um, TMI, <laughs> IBS. Now, since I had IBS, I know that IBS affects one in four women, okay? That's 25% of women will struggle with IBS at some point in their lifetime. So this is very relevant to a lot of people. And it's something that's not really talked about because like I said, it is kind of embarrassing. You know, it's not something you really want to talk about. Um, I remember, you know, going to potlucks and family events where there's a table full of food and just being like stressed out, like what can I eat so that I'm not going to be running to the bathroom right away. Um, you know, being driving down the road, like I-5, anyone who lives in California knows the five. I mean, there are no stops, you know, you'll go for 40 miles in between bathrooms and being stuck on I-5 and you know you have that emergency moment and when it happens it happens okay and there's no stopping it so again just if you have never dealt with IBS 
you don't know what I'm talking about, but just know that it's super stressful. If you have dealt with it, you know what I'm talking about, and it sucks, okay? So I started um, getting my nutrition on point. Um, I started exercising. I started P90X. I did an entire round of P90X, and I had amazing results. Now, on the P90X videos, they advertise this product called Shakeology. So what's Shakeology? You know, I didn't know. I had never tried it. And um, they kept talking about how it improves your digestion and it helps your energy levels and your, um, you know, metabolism. And I thought, well, that sounds kind of cool. You know, I, I had had success with P90X. I had finally gotten on track. I had lost 32 pounds at that point. And I thought, you know, this is time to maybe try something to just like accelerate and get myself, you know, to my goal. And so I, I bought uh, Shakeology. Now, I used it for, and I told myself, because, you know, you pay money for it, okay? You get what you pay for. It's it's a product that costs money. It's not free. And it's not the price of Slim Fast because it's not Slim Fast. Um, but I decided it was worth a shot, and so I would try it for a month. And if I liked it and if it gave me results, that I would go ahead and I would continue to stay on it. So I did it for a month, and I noticed increased energy. You know, I wasn't feeling tired all the time. I um, felt like I got through my workouts better. Um, I was losing weight. You know, um, the metabolism increased. You can just feel it. I felt better. My mental clarity was up. Just, you know, have, having that clear head all the time. And so I knew it was due to Shakeology because I had already been, you know, cleaned up my diet and I was exercising. So that was the only thing I had changed. So I decided to stay on it. That was in January of 2012. And I am here to, to tell you, this is me talking to you, in March of 2013, so three months later, I noticed something absolutely amazing. I noticed that those emergency bathroom breaks, you know, the I-5, oh my God, when it's the next bathroom, those um, episodes were not happening anymore, okay? Now, this is coming from someone who dealt with IBS for over 15 years. 15 years is a freaking long time to deal with something like that. I mean, I just thought I was always going to have this problem. Um, but it, I was literally cured after three months of using Shakeology. Now, some of you might be thinking like, oh, that sounds like a great story. You're a coach. You know, you make money selling Shakeology. Yeah, I do. But you know what? When I started and when I had my transformation with Shakeology, I was not a coach. I was not a coach. I didn't sign up to be a coach until May, the very end of May of 2012. So I already had this, all of this transformation happen. Now you ask, like, how come you're so passionate about this? How come you're so passionate about Beachbody? How come you're so passionate about Shakeology? This is why, because it did something amazing for me. It did something for me that nothing else did. It improved my digestion. It cleansed out my colon, the walls. It's it's like a scrub brush down through your intestines. It cleans out all that junk. It's just junk and buildup from years and years of abuse and years and years of processed foods and all the crap that we as Americans and you know really all over the world now, it's like an epidemic of processed, refined, you know, nothing that we eat nowadays, like just the common things that you that people eat is is prepared in the way that it was meant to be prepared. So, you know, even stuff that you think is healthy, you know, there's chemicals, there's this processing that goes into it. They put preservatives, it's just crap. And we put this into our bodies years and years and years upon years, and you end up with this development of just gunk. And so I was, it took about three months for this cleansing to happen. And when it happened, all of a sudden, hello, miracle, now my body is functioning the way it's supposed to function. And so I think that's really the beauty of um, Shakeology is that it's not a miracle, okay? There's no like magic potion in it that, you know, can heal you of all your ailments. But what it does is if you combine Shakeology, the 70, over 70 superfoods that are in it, all natural ingredients, no processing, no chemicals added, no coloring, no preserves, and you end up with, you know, the 70 plus superfoods. You've got pre and probiotics, which are digestive enzymes. You know, you'd have to eat four cups of Greek yogurt to get the, the healthy bacteria that you get from Shakeology. All of that stuff, wheatgrass, 
I mean, it's just a combination that really is just amazing. It's not magic, okay? This is not some, you know, oh, like voodoo. No, there's a science to it. It, is, it has been put together and there are results and it's not just me. I have two other customers that since I had my um, transformation with Shakeology and I've shared my story, as embarrassing as it is, um, with people and I, and they, you know, Hey, one in four women have IBS. Okay. So you have a chance when you talk to someone, every four people you talk to, one of them just by chance will have IBS. So this isn't a really rare issue. And I've talked to people about it and I've had two people sign up with IBS and they have cured themselves of IBS as well. If you go on YouTube and you search, um, Shakeology IBS, in the YouTube search, you will find tons of videos of people that I've never met, people I have never talked to, who have had the same experience with Shakeology. So that's why I am passionate about it. That's why I share it with everyone that I talk to. That is why I do not go on vacation without my Shakeology. I went to Mexico at the beginning of last year for two weeks. And I brought an entire bag of Shakeology on the plane. And you guys know how expensive carrying luggage is on planes nowadays, but I didn't care. The Shakeology is not an option for me because I don't want to go back to where I came from. I mean, God, like who does, you know? And, and so I just want to, um, kind of like, I wanted to get it out there because I hear a lot of people talking about, you know, different shakes or, or products and programs. And I'm not, I'm not here to bash any shake or weight loss supplement, but Shakeology really is not a weight loss shake. So putting it in the same category as like Slim Fast or some of these other um, weight loss or even protein shakes, you know, I hear people refer to it as a protein powder. It is so much more than a protein powder. If all you want is protein powder, go down to Walmart and buy muscle milk, okay? Or buy a whey protein, if that's all you want. But if you want something that's truly life-changing, if you want something that can help your body regulate and help your body reset itself back to the way it's intended to be so that your body can heal itself, then you want Shakeology. And when you have results like I've had, the $4 a day that it costs, to be on Shakeology is nothing. I don't care. It's worth it to me. It's my it's my meal. It's a meal for the day, and it is my healing. <laughs> it's it's something that gives me energy, and I know in, within my own body and the response that I've had how amazing it is. And so I just wanted to share with you a little bit about my story. Sorry for going on so long. Like I said, I get really passionate about you know what's what I've seen in my own. Um, health and my own transformation and I just want to just also add this in if you want youth back if you want some years back you know on your life on your face give it a try give it a try trust me on this one I've had so many people I've run into that I haven't seen in a long time and half of them don't even recognize me and when they finally do the response I hear is the same across the board oh my God, you look five years younger. And so, you know, if you want the fountain of youth, if you want, you know, your skin to look just glow and to glow on the inside, give it a try. What do you have to lose? Oh,